When five rescued black bears arrived at their new sanctuary home, some were nervous about leaving their cages. After all, for most of their lives, stepping outside their cages had brought only frustration and pain. My name is Brittany Pete, and for two years, I've been fighting to rescue these five American black bears from an outfit called The Great Bear Show. But for Andy, Cindy, Bucky, Brock, and Barney, it was anything but great. The bears were carted around the country, forced to perform tricks and pose for photo ops, often yanked by the chain around their necks. Here you can see the show's owner wrench Cindy up by the neck and strike her with a stick in order to force her into position for a photo, causing her to cry out. The owner then pockets the cash. Cindy consistently showed signs of severe psychological distress. She paced and pawed at the barren makeshift cage and was desperate to swim, explore, dig, or do anything that bears do in nature. Barney, the youngest bear, has suffered from a skin condition for most of his life. Prompted by PETA, the USDA has repeatedly cited the owner for failing to treat it adequately. You can see the large, hairless patches on Barney's body. He constantly scratched, desperately seeking relief. Barney is your classic young bear. All he wanted to do was play, but he was almost always isolated from the other bears. You can see his frustration during the shows as he was forced to balance on barrels and do other tricks. PETA found that during one stretch, Barney was kept inside this tiny transport cage without any exercise. You can see him swaying, a sign of psychological distress. He was trapped inside there for at least six weeks. But after years of pressure from PETA, the bear's long ordeal came to an end. They were transported to the Keepers of the Wild Sanctuary and the bears stepped out of their tiny cages forever. Even Andy, who almost didn't make the trip because of his severe arthritis, slowly made his way down the ramp before settling in for a long nap. The bear's new habitat has structures for them to climb on, bear-sized hammocks, and even a huge swimming pool funded by PETA. And after years of pacing, scratching and pining to do the things that bears do in the wild, Cindy went for a swim. Barney, who finally has room to roam and other bears to socialize with, ran and played as if he'd been doing it his whole life. He'll finally get the care that he deserves. In the last five years, PETA has rescued 72 bears from roadside zoos and traveling shows, and I remember every single one of them. To see bears who, for years, had lost all hope, finally get to swim and dig and play and hibernate means everything. To the thousands of PETA supporters who wrote and pressured the owner to send these bears to a sanctuary, thank you. You did it. If we keep working together, then the rescue of Andy, Cindy, Bucky, Brock, Barney, and the 67 other bears will just be the beginning. And one day, we'll have all the bears out of their hellholes.